The most common type of sales order-driven individual requirement is what companies in the United States refer to as drop shipments. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the drop shipment process with SAP S4 HANA. Drop shipment is the language used in day-to-day -day operations to refer to the process shown in this figure. To enable this process, the first step is to set the Material Master Data Field Item Category Group in the Sales View. The first option is to use Item Category Group CBNA when the vendor doesn't provide you with an advanced shipping notification. In other words, you'll wait for the vendor invoice before issuing your own invoice to the customer. The second alternative is using Item Category Group CBOR. In this case, you expect the vendor to provide the ASN, and then you'll issue your own invoice to the customer based on the quantities specified in the ASN. Item category CBOR is often preferred because your invoice to the customer is issued sooner than with CBNA. CBOR is also more compatible with other delivery-based customer scenarios such as standard orders, that is, you issue the invoice immediately upon shipping the order. The decision to use item category group CBNA or CBO art depends on how reliable you consider your vendor to be in notifying you of shipments. When you receive goods receipt notification electronically, for instance, via EDI message 856, using item category group CBO art is common, but if you rely on manual email notifications, you may consider using item category group CBNA. You can rely on the vendor to send you invoice because otherwise they won't get paid. After you enter a sales order, for example, using standard order type or the item category assigned to the line containing the CBNA material will be defined as CB2. This line will only be complete after the purchase requisition is created and its number assigned to the order. This process happens automatically when you save the order, it's controlled by the schedule line category in completion procedure. Item category CB2 will lead to the determination of the schedule line category CT, which is configured with a purchase document type. After the sales order is saved, the purchase requisition number can be viewed on the schedule line tab of the line details. In the purchase requisition document, the delivery address will match the ship to address. The purchasing team will take the purchase requisition and convert into a purchase order. This process is usually performed by a background job that can be scheduled. Once created, the purchase order is sent to the vendor either electronically via EDI message 850 or via email, fax, print mail, etc. When the vendor receives your purchase order, they will create a sales order in their system using your customer ship to address as their ship to address. From the vendor's perspective, that is a delivery address that they may decide to track as master data in their system. However, Tracking isn't necessary because the delivery address on your purchase order to them is usually treated as a one-time customer delivery address. After the vendor fulfills your order, they will send you an ASN message either electronically or via email, phone call, fax, print mail, and so on. You'll record the ASN by performing an operation called the Statistical Goods Receipt, which is a materials management operation that indicates that the order was received but inventory won't be created. The vendor will then send you their invoice, which would go through the regular invoice receipt process that MM uses for other vendor invoices. The vendor receives payment via accounts payable. After the vendor invoice is received, a sales order containing the CB2 line will become relevant for billing, which is usually processed by a background job. The invoice is created, sent to your customer, and payment is collected by accounts receivable. This process is now concluded. The statistical goods receipt could make the CB2 sales order line relevant for billing right away, but because item category group CBNA was used, it's configured to wait for the vendor invoice to be received before you issue your invoice to the customer. This scenario is controlled by the billing relevance flag on the item category configuration. The CB2 item category is configured with this, which makes the system wait for the vendor invoice to be received. If you use Item Category Group CBO are in the Material Master, the Item Category CB1 and Schedule Line Category WS are defaulted. The configuration for Item Category CB1 has this, which is what causes your invoice to be issued after the statistical goods receipt. 
Most companies in the United States use CBOR, CB1, WS, with billing relevance G, a common business practice to issue an invoice at the time of shipping. However, you must be mindful that after you perform this change, if you don't perform the statistical goods receipt, this invoice won't be issued even if the vendor sends you an invoice. Note that the item category group CBNA and CBO are effect the default item category CB2CT and CBSWS, but you're allowed to manually change the item category, thus allowing you to process exceptions if they come to pass. For instance, if a material is set as CBOR, but the vendor didn't send you the ASN and sent the invoice, you could change the item category in the sales order from CB1 to CB2 to allow the invoice to be issued even without the statistical goods receipt. To configure sales document scheduling line categories, open transaction VOV6 or follow this menu path. On the screen that opens, select the item category CB, CT, or WS and then click the details button or press F2. As shown in this figure, the purchase order type is used for a third-party ordering solution. You must create a purchasing document along with the sales order upon saving, and this order type will be used. The SAP standard value is NB, but your materials management team may request that you change the document type for a custom one. The item category field is a type of purchasing document line that must be created for third-party ordering scenarios. This purchase requisition delivery schedule flag is used in special order, third-party ordering scenarios, for instance, when you want to receive goods from the supplier into your facility first before shipping to the customer. In this scenario, you'll schedule the delivery to the customer along with the receipt from the vendor. Thus, you must select this flag. When checked, this flag indicates that you're using SAP SCM to estimate the capacity of the vendor in fulfilling this order. This enhances the accuracy of the expected delivery date, which in turn will improve the accuracy of your promised date to your customer. It requires a lot of setup to be implemented, as well as ongoing maintenance. This category field allows you to indicate that the purchasing document created by this schedule line will require an additional costing element, such as a cost center. This field is used in third-party ordering scenarios to control if or how you want to update the sales order schedule line with purchase order delivery information. Suppliers may provide you with an ASN before you receive product. You may want to reflect this scenario on the schedule line or wait until product is fully received at your warehouse.